Yeah, Nathan. Uh, no, listen, we, we went to have a captain run earlier today and uh, things went well. The pitch is looking good. And uh, uh, for me, I, I, I know the venue very well because I used to play here when I used to play sevens back in the days. So I was actually excited that we're coming back to Adelaide and uh, uh, the guys, the players, they were also excited. The pitch was nice and uh, at the weather conditions tomorrow, it, uh, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So yeah, uh, Nathan, uh, I think we're excited and looking forward to the opportunity to play Australia tomorrow. And it's going to be a tough challenge for us, but I think the guys, we, we've prepared well the whole week and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Ashfaq? Salam, guys. Hope you're well in Adelaide. Salam, salam. Sia, um, you know, uh, you uh, this group of, of players have, have done almost everything in the Rugby World Cups, Lions Series, uh, Rugby Championship, all that. But of course, uh, the win in Australia over the last few years, I mean, it's been nine years now. What, what do you think has been the issue in the past and what do you think you need to correct this time to get that victory? Um, so... Um, I, I, like in the past, I, I can't tell you, I can't point at what it, it was, because obviously um, we would have, would have addressed that and changed that and hopefully won sooner. Um, but yeah, now we've actually given everything towards um, um, Australia. We give them our, our full attention, you know, and we've got two games, you know, and we, we, we excited as a team and we looked at where we went wrong last year. We didn't want to look... Uh, go as far as the other games, you know, and we prepared, we watched the games against um, Argentina, they played, and obviously England too, and yeah, um, we feel like we prepared really well for this week, and we know what we need to sort out um, from, from from our side as a team, and we know what they're going to bring as well, which yeah, um, hope, but it's always going to be hard, they're playing at home, they're always tough um, here at home for us, um, but hopefully tomorrow it's a different result for us. Kaden? Uh, See so a word on Lucanio and how impressive he's been, and and what sort of turned him into such a force over the last little while. Um, you know, uh, yeah, he's been he, he's been amazing for us for for a very long time. I think um, I think it took a while. Um, um, I think for for people to 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 see that, and I think. The work that he's been doing with Coach Dick, you know, and and the, his personality is also, you know, he always wants to learn. He's willing to learn. He wants to talk to other players. He wants to hear opinion, and he sees um, rugby um, uh, differently. And I think the the best thing about Lucanio, he plays rugby the same way as he did, like for border, like his love for 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 the game since he was a kid. That's what I love about him, and he's always willing to learn. But yeah, he's been become. Um, an important player to 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 the team and and yeah um hopefully tomorrow he can just keep on growing in that you know and 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 we as a team can do our best to make sure that he gets the possible opportunities on the field tomorrow Greg Ray uh good afternoon guys thanks Nina um coach Dick um we've got so many backline players when you're talking about Lucanio uh, Damien Willems, uh, France, Stein, you know, whatever, all of them, uh, they can play in multiple positions. Um, are we entering an era of, of utility backs rather than specialists in positions? I wouldn't put it that way, Craig. If you look at a guy like, for example, now with, uh, with uh, Damien Willems at the back, we've tried now to give him a fair opportunity at fullback where he can just focus on uh, uh, developing his game in that position. You know, but once again, uh, for a, for any coach, if you've got players that can play in multiple positions around the field, it's a luxury. It's a, I think as a coach, you're in a good position. So if you look at the at the balance in our back line, we've got from nine and probably it to the 15, it's mostly a settled team. Uh, the only guy that you can say at the moment is playing in the position where he normally doesn't play. It's a uh, Wari Kaland. Which is we know that Warikaland is a good football. Yeah. He can he, he has done the job was at, at wing uh, before. So I think that's the only uh, position I can say. Okay, fine for this game, uh, Warik will probably play as a utility, you know, uh, uh, between a wing and fullback, you know. But Franz Stein, he has done the job also for us before as a utility back, you know. So once again, as a coach, I wouldn't complain, you know, uh, having players that can play in those multiple positions, and uh, we are in a good position, and. Uh, 
and, and also if you look at the balance in our team, it, it, uh, when, when it comes to continuity and how we selected the team, you know, so I think from 9, 10, 12 and 13, those are the guys that have been playing together for more than probably four years now. So, yeah, I think we are well yeah. balanced as a team. Thank you. Thanks, Sina. How's it, guys? Hello. Sia Matanda, um, how would you track your form at the moment? And, and just tell us about the back row battle that you're expecting. Um, my form? Um, <laughs> yes, yeah. It's, um, yeah. Well, I look at the game differently, you know, to maybe to what you, you would see it as. And, the things you know, we get um, rating rate cards or the we call it's called the roadmap where Coach Stick will let me know what he felt like I, I was on on OTB, you know, um, getting all the stuff that happens on um, off the ball, my defense. So in that regard, it's going, yeah, it's it, it's it, it's getting better um, each week, and, I've, and obviously I can feel in the game when I'm playing, you know. Um, um, in the work that I do around the around the field, and most of the stuff that I do, actually nobody will, will probably see other than the coaches and my teammates. Uh, you know, it's tackling, cleaning rugs, and making sure I'm winning the scraps um, in the air. And the one part that maybe I would love to do a bit more is carry a bit more. Um, and yeah, and I'll lose forward. I think um, yeah, we last week uh, well, was tough. Uh, for us, but hopefully, yeah, we can be better now. I think we're a week stronger than we were uh, before. So I'm looking forward to the battle. They've got strong loses too, you know, um, you know, and and they've been playing uh, really well. You know, Robert has been, um, Valentini has been playing really well, and and, and yeah, and we've we've played against them, you know, in the past, and and they've actually, um, yeah, it's all about who's gonna uh, dominate in that in that department tomorrow. It's gonna be a big part of it in the set piece uh, in the set piece too. But I think the loose the other loose force do make a big difference, especially in the breakdown and and getting momentum for the team. Steven? Thanks, Z. How's it guys? Nice to see you. Thanks, you. Nice How are you? you? Yeah, good. Uh, coach, um Warwick uh, on the right wing. Um we we saw in the in the URC that uh, Warwick is um, you know his party trick so to speak was the offload and um, you know we've seen uh, Damien also um, with you guys there have also been been a couple of offloads. Do you think the two of them uh, in the back three um, that you can somehow um, you know harness them? Uh, uh, in in the back three as an attacking threat, and is there scope for for Warwick to to bring that offload to the game, or or must Warwick um, stick to a structure, so to speak? Uh, not really, Stevie. Uh, I think uh, we, we we can't restrict the player not to perform at his best, you know. So yes, we do have a game plan. We do have a system of how we want to do things, but. The players they know that they know very well that they always bring their X factor, you know. So what makes you worry, that uh, you, you should never leave that uh, behind, you know. So yes, he's got he's got all the freedom. Whatever he wants to do on the field, he's got the freedom and he's got the support of his teammates around him. And uh, like you just mentioned now, between him and uh, and Damian Valems uh, playing together, even for the Stormers, you know, I think that's going to be the advantage. We know Magazole can fit in anywhere. You know, he has played for the Kings and he was one of the top try scorers in Super Rugby back then. Went to the Cheetahs, he never stopped, you know, scoring tries at the Sharks. So, Magazola is someone that is, 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 is well settled in our team. But when it comes to Warwick and, and Damien Valemson, we, we really want, we actually pray that they will bring what makes them special. So, uh, we are in a good position in that sense. And then, uh, once again, he has done the job for us before, if you remember, going back to to Japan in 2019, you know, where Warwick was playing at week for us. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what it's going to do tomorrow. Also. Justin Ford. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Siam Tanda, this question's for you. <laughs> um, the last year, the team went to the rugby championship in Australia um, under strict COVID-19 conditions. This time it's very different. Um, yes, we went down to Australia, but also uh, fantastic against New Zealand. This time a lot different. You were welcomed by South African fans at the airport. Just put us into picture as to how different it is for the team this time around, knowing that fans can actually be there. 
Um, you guys are interacting with people and seeing people as opposed to what you experienced last year? Yeah, no, it's completely different. I think it's, it's back to normal to what we used to. And to see so many South African people welcoming us at the airport was really um, amazing and special. And yeah, to be, we were able to take photos, say hello with their summit, the hotel, you know, that travel from different cities to come watch us. Yeah, it, it does make a, a huge difference, you know, to see people wearing the, the, the Springbok jerseys. And also for us to be able to go to coffee shops, go around the town, go for dinner, you know, without being restrict, uh, restricted, um, it's really good. It gives us a little bit of of, of, of freedom. So yeah, um, it's, it's really been good. It feels like, yeah, it feels like exactly how it felt when we were at home. Ashfaq? Um, just two quick ones. Firstly, to see, uh, um, in terms of the Wallabies, they just, uh, even though they lost so badly to Argentina in the last game, whenever they're at home, almost particularly against the Springboks, they seem to uh, grow an extra arm in the leg. Just in terms of the energy, they keep going right to the end. Uh, 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 how do you sort of counter that? And related to that, uh, Stoker, in terms of the bomb squad, um, Will there be a different strategy this week compared to the Ellis Park game? Yeah, the, it's, it's the same like for, for us when we're at home. You know, it's every, like we, the, the, the home games, you, it's different. You've got your, some, some players can go home after trainings, you know, be with their families, you know, whatever you get that little bit of energy, but also the crowd, you know, the, you've got, probably 90% of the people are behind you in the stadium that can that energy, you know, knowing from us being at home now playing those games, um, you know, in South Africa, it, it makes a huge difference, you know, make a big difference. And, and yeah, you, you don't want to disappoint like anyway, when you play for a country, but especially in front of your own uh, home, home supporters. Um, and yeah, and, and they bring it and we hear the crowd, you know, when we know when the crowd is going when you know, and, and, and loud, you know, that the home team, is doing well, but you know the biggest thing is to make sure that we do everything we can, you know, to make sure that the the, the noise um goes down, you know, as as as, as much as it can. Then we know we, you know, the, then that support doesn't um you know affect you as much because that means your plan is is going well. Yeah, Ashfaq, uh, when it comes to, to our plan and how we use our, our bomb squad off the bench, uh, I think our players from 1 to 23, they all understand uh, that we always look for players to get into as many battles as they can. So uh, the moment the player is starting to disappear and get tired, uh, you know, and that's when we sometimes make changes. And as, as you saw in uh, in, uh, in at Ellis Park against the All Blacks, you know, where we made early changes in the, in the, in the first half, you know, it's not because of the mistakes that the players were doing on the field. Once we know that, for example, a guy like Dwayne, you know, coming back from the injury, he understands very well that the player must, he must get out there and then just make sure that he throws himself into as many battles as he can. And the moment he doesn't offer us those battles, you know, that's where sometimes we make changes early, sometimes even in the first half. I think it's something that we've done it uh, in the past season. It's nothing new, you know. So once again, uh, those guys being getting an opportunity again, you know, where Dwayne, Coming back from the injury, a guy like Joseph Dweber, uh, the last time he played, it was probably in Bloemfontein, you know. So to give him a fair opportunity also to make sure that they get better in, the, in their departments also. So once again, if Dwayne can push 50, 60 minutes tomorrow, we'll always go uh, as long as it does offer us those battles on the field. And the same goes with all the other players around the park. So, but yeah, once again, uh, when it comes to the strategy, the strategy is always to make sure that we get to as much battles as possible on the field. Dylan? Thank you, Zina. Um, good afternoon, guys. Hope you're well. Um, just a couple of questions for Sia, please. Um, Sia, just your thoughts on um, the current uh, Springbok back row combination. Um, you, Dwayne, and Peter Steph, I think, are only starting for the second time since the together since the 2019 World Cup. Are you sort of starting to find your feet a bit better and then also just your thoughts on the wallabies going for a, a six two split between forwards and backs on the bench um sort of replicating what you guys often do um are you sort of cognizant of that going into this test yeah we we we're getting better uh, you know with uh, myself peter and Dwayne, and it's yeah it's always um great um to to play with them and connect with them and you know We've got we, we know each other very well. Um, it's all about as coach said the battles. That's all that matters. We want to be 
involve as many battles as possible and give everything we can so that when guys like Guaja come in, that you know they they bring the extra energy uh, as they always do. Uh, so yeah, we we're looking forward to getting a, a, another opportunity and hopefully we can influence the game a whole lot more um, this weekend. Um, and yeah, the Australia using the six-two split. Um, yeah, um, a lot of people had a you know had a lot to say about us doing it, you know. But you know, obviously they are setting the 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 intentions and like what they want to do. They're gonna it's gonna be a tough um um it's gonna be a tough uh, what you call it um set piece battle, of course. And and yeah, and and it it works it it, it works. But you know, we're trying something new this week. Um, but yeah, you can definitely see the intention that. Um, the forwards are probably also going to be trying to throw themselves in as many battles as they can and then give the the, the 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 next guys an opportunity to come on. But yeah, we're looking forward to facing it um, this, tomorrow. Um, Nathan, is that an English question or are you uh, are you waiting for Isi Tosa? Um If there's time for English, I can go, but I will wait for Isi Tosa, uh, Zina. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Stephen? Uh, thanks, E. Uh, Coach, um, <clears throat> Elton on the bench. Uh, I think last year we saw that, uh, you know, it really was um, a great uh, uh, um, substitute for you guys to make, you know, in, in the... And, uh, you know, we talk about the a bomb squad, etc. But how big a, a, a thing is it for you that, that Elton is, is, is back um, on the bench and can can make an impact. You know, I guess he he wasn't that great against Wales, and there's been a lot said about that. But uh, couldn't he potentially be the guy that um, really pulls something out of that? Yeah. Yeah, Stephen, I think you spot on uh, regarding to what Ella has done for us in the past. You know, more especially if you look at last year when we played against Australia and New Zealand. You know, uh, coming off the bench. You know, and if you look at a guy like Henry Pollard lately, he's been getting cramps. You know, and uh, that's why I felt like, and you know, we felt like as a coaching staff, you know, uh, having Elton, you know, it will at least put us in a better position. We've done this before. If you look at the final game when we played against the British and Irish Lions, where we had more than on the bench, you know, and uh, and actually everything went according to how we wanted, how we planned in that game, you know, more than coming on and then kicking that winning uh, penalty at the end, you know. I think we also expecting a similar challenge in this game you know australia playing at home they're going to be tough you know it's always it's always tough to play against them when they play at home uh once again well probably if the game gets too close and maybe paulie he's, he's been doing very very well now Henry Pollard, you know playing very well and that's the key thing is that because of the players are getting opportunity to play week in week out you know we know that brings confidence a lot of people they always talk about players losing confidence but a player won't gain confidence if he's not on the field, you know. So it's a similar thing when it comes to Elton. You know, you've mentioned that when he played against Wales, he didn't have a, his best game. But once again, he also needs more game time. So I think we are in a good position and we uh, probably we're expecting a game to be tight. Uh, but once again, Ella has done the job for us before and uh, I'm excited also. Hopefully he will get an opportunity also. Percy? Thank you so much, Sina. Goedemiddag, meneer. Um, skipper. Yes, sir, well, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> skipper, can I ask you, it's pay weekend, sir, this tonight. Yes, African time, we're going to have some prize, sir. We're going to have discussions around the prize, sir. Um, I'm trying to, as part of my debate, I'm trying to think who to back this weekend, sir. So I've got two teams coming off defeat, sir. I'm, you guys are coming in as world champions into this match, but the world champions haven't beaten the side since 2013, though, sir. So I'm trying to think whether it's now Super Brew to back. Who's going to be the favourite centre heading into this match, though, this year? Who are you backing? And for Coach Stoker, can I just ask you, Coach? You mentioned that you you've had the privilege of playing in Adelaide, though, sir. Um, but I'm trying to think now when we were in Bombela, the visitors there in Bombela, they had a very had a very difficult outing there in Bombela. Will it not be a, same, a similar situation for you guys going to a so-called foreign venue this weekend for the team, Ronald? Um. Because you know who I'm gonna say, obviously. Um, no, yeah. Um, no matter what the results were in the past, we we always backed ourselves. We've never gone into a game and said, um, like, okay, we're gonna lose this one. Never. So, um, yeah, I, I'll I'll still say backers. 
Yeah, personally, regarding playing in in Adelaide, like I said to you in the in the past, this used to be a a happy hunting ground for us as the police spoke back in the days, you know, and then we had good performances here. And uh, one thing that I like about Adelaide, when I heard that we're going to play here and I got excited because I know the place very well. It's like you in Bloemfontein in South Africa. So once again, uh, we're not the only one who's foreign in this uh, in, the, in this town, you know, because of Australia. If you look at the majority of their players, none of them, the uh, majority of their players, they all come from the, big, from the big cities. I think for both teams now, we are foreign in Adelaide, you know. So and the nice thing is that playing in a cricket in a cricket uh, venue, you know, where the stands are too far from what's what's happening between the four lines, you know. So I don't think it's going to have a, a massive impact on what's going to happen between the four lines when it comes to the supporters. And see, I mentioned earlier on, there's a lot of South Africans that are also based around here in Adelaide, and uh, it was actually nice to see South Africans, you know, at the airport welcoming us. Uh, and singing nice songs there, even the Shoshalozas at the airport, you know. And the funny thing is that there's families that I used to see back then, I think it was probably 16 years ago, you know, and those people are still here and supporting the Springboks and uh, to see the, the, the smiles and the, uh, in their faces that it, it, it really brings a good feeling into our hearts, you know, and uh, it's a very special place to be in Adelaide. And yeah, we're excited to see what we can do for them tomorrow. Um, guys, we, we've got 10 minutes left, so I'm going to go to Isik Kosa, and if there is um, an opportunity for English, then um, after that we, we we can do that. So, Nathan, uh, you've been waiting patiently. Uh, thank you again, Zina. I just got the two questions. Um, uh, no, um all to make sure um it is disciplined and it be good for the I don't know past couple of games it's if nobody see sends the it penalty is seven um every game so it discipline is good every game so make sure long the ball again like a cool um quiz game because they're talking about what tight is game but the morning yet on this scrum stage please make sure there's a bands and of my other the opportunities equipment I think Last year, Gosa Slapa, Sakaba, ne, but Zas is the opportunity after Skabili say win a peg club or Sazega, the opportunities in Zikakul. So it's funny to make sure to rectify Lord and he learned the Bali clay and the state and I before Gubeski Alan Gugi Alamin came. As Kabinji, as Kabelu Ure, the Kabel of Money Polar Pet, so was what take us all in the Bali clay could tell. Pomoy, I don't live well, I love it, don't eh? ke <laughs> London selection and the and the and physically motivated players like picture up physically came in. So but God, as is the best job, Kulu Kubo Tina. In the ballet, Leo Kuba must long say Apos sent his post a corner, go from Kumjalo to Kabebezu and all blacks. We are Kumbula looking Bombella Noko, is in those Zambaka, Futonga, Ingeles, execute and I when it comes to a kicking game here to Nesset pieces there too. So in the ballet, Leo, Funagas and Major Tinaba, we just see us, see us, see Lunga Sakula, Kazas Port of Assassin's in Ellis Park. And in the ballet, the Tanda South John, who are only the Matalabas championships. If Banga Bay team on the day doesn't pitch up, it was our punish or that. It was our punish or it's been born in Argentina last week. But Australia mentally can't get a pitch up, it came in, but for 49 points. So now to interest the Lenga against the All Blacks, and Apoba, Sanga Kanga, see, execute a key plane to the All Blacks now, because I was a capitalizer up with the first money opportunity. So in the ballet, I'm going to go to city makes all over Alabasia, picture happy Berlin, mentally and physically. Then what Mr. Dangayo earlier on, but since Paul Sagi battles this Nancy, and then the scoreboard will look after itself. Sibu? Uh, morning, Zina. Uh, Mulwen Manene, uh, Daphne Ngulu. 
Kalubuza, ba Kalumfana, Usepiquini, when I'm Gregashi, U Heland, Uzakubisana, no Corre Betty, Bella Pico, Corre Betty, Ucadalla, Gotta, Unesangia, now on a mava, U Lindelendo, only Gugu Heland, Pi Piquini, Upinde, Unbalsele, and Alecombo, Bike, a Tazoyak, and not Damien, but Dudukan, you are a sheg in a glow combination, Leo. A passage on a pepeni, a Ababa Fana, but we outside backs, the Ambala no Magazole, and I didn't know Abano Enza, a Kala, Gotua, Gaypola, by his Afigana, a Pagubo, the loose porcelain alapo, but Pola Baza, Kebai Fuman, was a party Pola and Roms. As Bu, uh, one Kala, what a Kalant in the Ambuela, and I acquired Mana, he, he too balaki as Bonagalis, because a Mazgaluba. No, go being in Fano, what was sent there? I'm seven to my Piquin if we are Kumbulango 2019. That's why I connect the World Cup yet. And Babu Labanyavas, I live with Alapa before in Fano Jungle Chesney Cove, Unza Gale Goku, Sakwas, who pine my opportunity to confine our Kettle Arense. Unfortunately, Ba, who suspend your father with Alapa in the Balik Lake Kutiba. No, go about the Libet. Sorry. About the Libet, try opportunity corners, Banike, Babata Lisbon, Ibalagila, and Sabonzi confidence, and Samaz Warikaland, Kumitalo, or Zalaka, or Kulis in Bolila, and Loki URC, Kobeta Live for the Stormers. And in the Balik left Negus and Nickel and Freedom Yak because of Samaz Kumitalone X Factor, Yakwas Noku Uchikamate, Abesis on Gabalin, and also Lenti Balik Legbas, Quasm support or whatever decision as a tie, a Balin. Sim class well at all. And the in the Vitana Land about Law Mencina Abando Abba around the end. So Tatango Ba Fanaba Jova Macazole, uh no 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 look no look can you um as a combination girl not Damien, no go at least Bonabu Tala Bit Labong as a as a as a as a team. So I think what a land of mana opportunity now get team no go a a a a a a a settled card and the the Ambuela and the Advisor uh next to Tawake, U Damien Velem Salo, but called the wall being that is Thomas. So can the Amphuela Polo Kala and the Nogosi C C C C excited for Nubonaba Uza Kwa Ranja and Gomsa Pat Nogos in Tembilum Fan. Waga sent the Lum seventy before and Matula sends the Lana Gomes. Okobella um Kokeli Ingati go go ban lindele physically ababa fana basa australia ingadi bazi misele ba baza melana nani se waza ma poko ba tu mengandoni ni nani zkalelba Noba Bangaza and a low six two yabo, a Nizawazumelan and up Nizawans in Doyen. No, I couldn't change our good, no wins and do it in a stronger for good. Um, so still not going to change the names and wear two parts and make sure was Tata Lama two was for Mona, I mentioned, and and the condis or change. I said, please, now wanna in a so in a year six two speeds. A condis or change sound, some in a man like a scram, Nagila Nas, Nagaza boy polar. So in Sahas Mugu, Pastel, would go pick it in me for Basosa, especially he said, please, but yeah, a condis or change a good sound gainer. Uh, guys, I see two more hands. We'll take these as the last two questions. Uh, Stephen. So yeah, how are you guys um, feeling physically? Um, you know, if I just look at the team Australia picked, you know, with a bench and so on, I think they might make it quite physical and a bit of an in in endurance test for the forwards. So, so how are you guys feeling? No, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. We we had time off. We all did what we needed to do in the time off, and 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 I think uh, training has been good this week. You know, our our. Our staff is, is is really good at making sure you know they're managing um, our training sessions. You know the coaching staff, and he's been good at um, giving us um, you know um, the the amount of rest we need. You know in the training sessions that is manageable, so that we can be fresh. You know we had we finished training on on Wednesday early, so we had we we're off yesterday. So yeah, we will be good. You know, and and that's what we do. You know, you, you know, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a set piece game, and guys, you know, we're gonna have to go much longer. As long as we're involved in the game and and doing battles, it's gonna be good. And obviously, discipline is gonna be important. You know, we had a we had a great um um you know, we had a a meeting with the ref, and we 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 have an understanding how it's gonna go. You know, set piece. You know, breakdown is gonna be important, and you know, and discipline is gonna be important because these games have been very close. 
and we know we you know we've worked hard on our discipline as a team i think we're averaging seven penalty a game so um we we know how important that's going to be and making sure when the guys come on you know they they, they they come on to bring more energy, you know, and, and, and also staying disciplined till the end of the game. And then last question, Justin. Rustic, I'll keep it short. A former player that has played in Australia for the box um, this week feels that the Springboks potentially go down under and hype themselves up to play against New Zealand. And, you know, the focus is there beating them and then potentially underestimate Australia. Surely that's something that you refute, that, you know, the team wants to win at all costs. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Yeah, I think Sia touched on it, Justin, earlier on that. At least now, this time, our main focus, 100%, we were focusing on what we want to do against uh, Australia. You know, sometimes we normally play them after uh, traveling to, for example, sometimes we have, uh, we will probably have two different strategies when it comes to splitting the teams, you know, where we're focusing on what we want to achieve against the All Blacks, which is this time it's a different case, you know. We are 100% focusing on Australia. You know, we spend all our energy and like Sia said during the week, I think the build up from the coaching staff, you know, uh, 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 trying to make sure that we understand exactly what's required for, 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 for this game. We haven't beaten Australia yet since 2013, uh, so it's a massive challenge for our boys, but uh, once again, I think Mentally and physically, we, we will probably be uh, switched on on the game. And uh, the other thing is, uh, one thing that I like about this place for me, it's it's got a, that Bloemfontein vibe, you know. Uh, uh, there's a lot of South Africans also that are based around here in Adelaide. And uh, and uh, it's something probably, uh, if you look at the Australian side, I don't, majority of their players, they're also probably coming from the big cities, you know. So I think both teams in this game uh, will probably fall in Adelaide, you know. So that's a nice thing about us being uh, playing in this in, in this town, you know. So um, we're excited and looking forward to it. Cool, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Stick and Sia. Appreciate it. Um, guys, we'll be sending out the recording shortly. Can I please ask that you just leave the meeting so that uh, we can actually get the recording out as quickly as possible? Because uh, if you do stay on, then it, it uh, delays the, the sending um, out of that. So thank you so much. Have a great day. And uh, Thanks. Keep Good luck. Bye-bye. Cheers, mate. Cheers, guys.